Today's video will be part two of the v-net sweater series. For this project, we'll be using the Centro with 48 needles, this beautiful evening jade yarn. Unfortunately, I don't remember the brand, but I can remember that it was acrylic, worsted weight, and the label recommended a five millimeter crochet hook to be used with it. So I hope that is helpful in finding the yarn appropriate for this project. We will also be using a small crochet hook and tapestry needle to lift the yarn off the centro hooks. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and cast this waist yarn all in the same way I did before. And keep in mind this is the back panel so we're just needing to do the armpit decreases so i will see you on row 70. That makes 70 and at this point I like to stop and count, make sure I have 70 rows as well as mark the 50th row just to kind of help me keep track throughout the process. That is in fact 70 rows, so I'm going to do my decrease on the side on 71, 73, 75, 77, 79, 81, 83, 85, 87, and 89. I'll go ahead and speed through that and show you. Don't forget to mark every 10 spots.
So that was the last decrease, that was 89. Now I'm gonna go back one more time. I'm gonna put my ninth one of these in to symbolize 90. And now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other rows all the way till I get to 136 and then I'll cast on the waist yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and count the rows. There should be 130, and then I'll finish up the other six once I make sure that's where I'm at. Okay, so that is where I'm at. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the last six rows and I'll be right back to put on the waist yarn. You may have noticed like halfway through all that, I accidentally added an extra stitch over here. It's just one extra stitch on the side. I'm not too worried about it. Not enough to undo all of my work to start over. So I just went with it the rest of the way and just did the extra one over here. It's not that big a deal. It's one stitch. It's fine, it's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, put that over here and start my waist yarn to finish this off. Now that you've finished that, and you don't have to use as much waste yarn as I did, I was just finishing up the little spool of yarn I had. So now that you're finished with that, you are finished with the front and back panel of the left side of your sweater. And then all you have to do is everything we just did, but inverted essentially. So for the back panel, it will look more like... <laughs> that's supposed to be an A and then when you're doing your front panel the neck it'll look like that and you'll just do it all over again according to your size that concludes part two of the v-neck series I hope to see you back in part three where we will be doing the sleeves if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you'd like to ask them in a more private setting, you can contact me on Instagram. I will have a link to that provided in the description box below. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!